What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the 37 Frame Show. I know there's been a lot of random videos lately, things like longboarding and cooking and stuff like that. But today, in this episode, we're gonna bring you guys back to the roots and we're gonna talk about a beautiful camera and also go shoot some film. So let's head out there and load up our cameras. Alright, first up, we're gonna talk about the new camera. Um, today, we'll be looking at the Instantcon RF70 from a company called Mint. This company is from Hong Kong and they've been producing cameras and refurbishing um, old vintage cameras uh, like the SF70 that supports the Polaroid film and also the Impossible film. Um, and yeah, they've been going into the whole um, instant photography. This company also came out with the TL70 which is an instant camera that looks like a cool TLR which is a twin lens reflex camera and supporting the Instax Mini and this one, this guy here supports the Instax wide camera from Fujifilm, something that looks like this over here. They have a monochrome as well as a color. So uh, why do I choose this? Because the film size is bigger and um, I guess it's more satisfying. And what's special about this camera is that it is actually a range finder camera uh, and it has a really good build and a very uh, vintage design. Uh, let me just show you guys. So this is how we take out the uh, lens and uh, yes, the lens is actually uh, mounted over here and there's a bellow. Really, really vintage looking camera. Definitely would turn heads uh, if you're bringing this out in the open and uh, shooting out with it. And being a rangefinder, it has actually uh, two kind of like viewfinders for you here. Uh, one of it which is for focusing where you look at the coupled image uh, and get it to match and the top part is for framing. So um, it kind of like slow down your photography but um, I guess it's all in the process and not just the end result. And one thing about this camera is that you can actually shoot multiple exposures. That means you can capture one image after another image and that kind of like give you a very cool effect and so on. So if you look at the dial over here, you can actually see that it has a few shutter speed as well as an auto uh, setting. So this camera actually allows you to, um, you know, go auto so you don't have to think so much about uh, whether you are exposing it, uh, over exposing it or under exposing it. And you can also have the flexibility and control of a manual camera which I think is really really cool. Uh, for those who want a bit of challenge and wants to go a bit technical with their photography. Another thing is that it also has a flash that is embedded inside. And there it is. Really, really neat. Uh, very well thought of camera in my opinion. Uh, so this camera is really perfect for people who are very impatient like me. Who cannot wait to finish a whole roll of film and would like to just get their images out as soon as possible. And yeah, it's an instant camera. Um, what else do we have? Uh, of course, we have a screw mount here for the uh, tripod. And one thing about this, it has also a self timer. Um, just 5 seconds though, a bit too short. But you can actually get that by just uh, hitting the shutter button twice. And it will give you a 5 second uh, self timer. In case you want to do a self portrait for yourself. Last but not least, um, there's also actually a flash sync port right here. Over there and you can kind of like connect it to your flash but uh, I'm not really a flash photography kind of guy so I don't really use that much and I just find that uh, shooting with this camera is just fun on its own. Uh, as you know that the Instax Y is actually an 800 ISO film so it could get uh, a little bit overexposed in that sense but if the weather is a bit too bright what you need to do or what you can do is actually just to get a set of ND filters like this it comes in a set of three, if I'm not wrong. Really, it comes in a set of three. It comes with a ND2, ND4, and ND8, which can just screw it onto the lens over here, and you get the correct exposure. So yeah, um, I have nothing much to say, but this is a really fun camera. Uh, it really makes you enjoy your instant photography, and uh, it really, really looks so cool. I cannot get over it. So, so cool. Yeah, we're gonna be going out to shoot uh, a bit of film um, and shoot people out there in the streets and have fun with this camera. So, yeah, let's put this aside for a bit.
Okay, and on top of that, today we are also going to cover another topic which is called the 36 frame project. So this project is actually uh, started by Fuzzy Ball uh, or Fuzzy Eyeball. Fuzzy Ball or Fuzzy Eyeball? Uh, somebody who is from the uh, Lomo uh, photography community in Singapore. And uh, he actually did this project a couple of times before and was just thinking to kind of like restart it. And the concept of the the whole project is actually to shoot a row of 36 uh, frames based on specific scenarios or genre. So he set up a whole list whereby your first frame needs to be uh, with this genre in mind, second frame with a different genre in mind, and all 36 genre will be there. And it's kind of like challenging yet stressful at the same time. Uh, and there is a period of uh, time for you to shoot it, which usually goes on for about a couple of weeks. I think it's, it was two weeks. So I actually joined the project but I did not manage to finish it in time and I still have some shots for me to finish uh, and it started sometime in December I think it's supposed to end by the end of the year uh, of 2019 but it's already February 2020 and yeah I'm kind of like disappointed because I can't finish it but uh, I feel that since I started the project I need to finish it. You need to finish what you start. And that's important. Uh, and yeah, let's just go out and shoot some instant film and finish off that 36 frame project even though it's long overdue. Uh, it doesn't matter. Um, we're just gonna have fun and challenge ourselves and hopefully, um, you know, be able to complete the whole project. And I would like to hopefully develop the photos by today at Konota. And, uh Alright, so here we are at Little India, uh, always a fun place to shoot because there's a lot of colours, cultures and I guess it's uh, safe from China in a sense. Uh, but yeah, um, it's 2pm, yes we are late but uh, before we start, I need to satisfy my tummy. So I'm gonna go get some lunch and uh, since we are here, masala to say. Alright, so here we are at Kamala and I've already ordered my masala to say and say halia. Sorry about the shaking with the table. And got my number, so I'm waiting for my food. Alright guys, now that we are done with lunch, um, let's talk about the 36 frame project. So I sort of uh, checked my sources again and let me correct myself that uh, the 36 frame project is something that was done by Mr. Andrew Kwa uh, back in the days when low motion SG was really really active. Uh, low motion is actually a uh, a group of film shooting lomographers uh, and yeah they come together every now and then to shoot and they had this 36 frame project uh, which is like a period of, of two weeks where they shoot a row of 36 frame um, with different genres for each and every frame so it's very challenging um, it really makes you think out of the box and be very creative and uh, so after a few years of uh, inactivity. Um, Andrew together with my friend Jimmy Poa, co-owner of uh, 36, they came together and thought of rekindling the whole project. And so they started it again uh, at the end of um, 2019 in December. Uh, and yeah, that's how it got rekindled and got restarted. And um, yeah, so I'm gonna finish my row of them. Uh, I'm shooting with this uh, Leica M3 with Canon 50mm, 1.4 LTM and yep where I am right now is at is at the frame is at my 23rd or 24th frame 
the last I remember was that I shot the frame for money and now we are looking for reverse so yep uh, I'll just show you guys again the whole uh, list of genre and yep let's go down to shooting so I've already shot uh, reverse it was a quick one because uh, I just saw a situation that kind of fits it and now we need to cover waist and look that's a waist hmm. all right so that's waist now next will be shopping that yeah, shouldn't be quite difficult shouldn't be too difficult I mean I uh, just have to look around Hey, someone shopping. Okay, the next one is very challenging. It's it's seemed as Monday and today is like, I don't know, Thursday? <laughs> so let's find Monday. Oh, Monday blues. Find something blue. That difficult to find something blue. That looks pretty blue. Monday blue couch. Alright, what's next? Okay, next one is actually Star Sweet and Technology. If I'm not wrong, there used to be a mosque here. For a mosque, there should be a star, so let's find the mosque. Should be around here, yeah. And yes, we found the mosque that is currently being uh, renovated, it seems. And look, that's my star. This one here, too. My star. Alright, so now I need to find floral, then sound, and circles, season, and work, and we're done. However, I'm not sure if I can make it because I am already at my 35th frame. How is that possible? Did I shoot something twice? I don't know. Let's see how far we can go. No guys, this is floral. Colorful floral. I'm only left with two more shots, season and work. And I think this decoration is in season. Or rather, out of season. Let's take that. Oh no, guys, two more frames, and uh, I'm actually out of film. Yes, I think uh, I really did took some photos twice so it's quite a bummer that I can't finish it I like, really really finish it but in a way I finished my role and let's send it for development uh, meanwhile maybe I did this opportunity to take some instant photos yeah let's go all right so just a little bit of an update so after I've shot the 36 frames uh, I realized that it was time to actually head over and rush over to Konota so that I can develop my film just in time before I need to head back. And uh, yeah, I managed to send my film to Konota. Gonna collect it in about 5 minutes time, that's 5.30. And uh, I thought I have enough energy to still shoot but no man, I do not have any more energy. I'm so tired. Uh, yeah, I guess that's... Uh, that's me feeling old and uh, not so youthful anymore, not so energetic anymore. So, yeah, uh, can't wait to have a look at the pictures or at least a thumbnail. And, um, yeah, hope to share some of those pictures with you guys. So, let's go collect. Whoa, yes, I'm finally back at home and uh, I've collected the photos from Konota. One hour service, $15. Really speedy and pretty cheap in a sense. Uh, but, yeah, uh, it came up. Pretty okay. Um, um, let me just share the photos with you guys. So this is my 
36 frame project by myself, 37th frame. Yeah, so check it out. Yes, so that is my uh, 36 frame. Uh, obviously, some of the genre or some of the uh, pictures are taken twice, and because I took so long to uh, finish the role of film, uh, when I had the opportunity to take something else, I actually took it. So something out of the 36 frame project, and that is why I did not complete the 36 frame project by the book. Yeah. It was fun nevertheless, uh, definitely challenging, make you think out of the box, uh, make you be creative of how you want to fulfill the genre or topic that has been set out for those frames. And with regards to the Instant Con RF70, um, I'm really sorry I did not have enough energy to follow through and continue shooting with that camera, even though it is a fun camera but I'm just so tired trying to chase a basic frame. And yeah, I promise that in the next video, I will take some photos with the Instant Con RF70 and I'm gonna show you guys what that camera is really capable of. And uh, yeah, uh, maybe we'll touch on the whole handling, the feel of the camera and uh, what I really think about it after using it for a couple of months now. Hope that you guys like the photos that I've shared. I uh, hope that you guys like my input into the 36 frame project and uh, do give me feedback on how I can make this channel better or what kind of content you guys would like to see next. And don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel because uh, that really helps me to build up my, uh, my, my channel and my content hopefully. Feedback guys, feedback. I really want to hear from you guys and I will reply each and every one of you. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.